Well, welcome friends. Today I am sharing a what we eat in a week video, seven days of what we got to eat this week. So the first meal that we had was a pumpkin chicken stew. So this original recipe uses butternut squash and black beans and I didn't have butternut squash and I didn't have black beans. So I had pumpkin still from um, the past fall and I cooked that up in the oven and then I had some red peppers, some onions, some garlic and I put that in some olive oil on the stove and sauteed that and then we um, added the pumpkin back in, put some chicken stock in there and let it simmer for like 15-20 minutes or so and then um, added some seasonings. Now the trick to this is to use some allspice. If you don't have allspice, it's like cinnamon, clove, um, nutmeg, a little bit of that and that was super to add that extra pop of um, kind of like Indian flavor. So that was a really good stew with just some um, long grain brown rice. You can use whatever rice you have on hand as well and put that over top of it. And I used some rotisserie chicken I had bought from our local grocery store. I usually have whole chickens, but for some reason right now, whole chickens are kind of hard to find and they're really expensive. So I bought a rotisserie chicken from our local grocery store that they had. Um, so that was our meal number one. Second day is Mexican. So I made a Mexican lasagna. I found this out of an Amish cookbook. I will put the recipe in the description box for you. Um, so this is like an Amish recipe and definitely unique because it has cottage cheese and egg on top. But you know, in some lasagnas you have cottage cheese. So I just use corn tortillas on the bottom of the pan and you can use flour, you can use like homemade tortillas, whatever you want. But I used beef of course and um, just used some marinara sauce that I had. It did call for pizza sauce but I used marinara um, and then you can add other stuff into it if you wanted as well. You could, to make it um, a more Mexican style, you could add salsa. I added some diced tomatoes and green chilies, a can of those and then just some chili powder, kind of to spice it up a little bit, and then put some um, shredded cheese on top after I baked it. But then you layer that shell at the bottom, then you put all the meat in the mixture in there, cover it again with another layer of tortilla, cover it with your cottage cheese egg mixture on top, you bake that at 350 for about 30 minutes, and then you layer your cheeses. And I just chose mozzarella and Colby Jack and then a little strip of lettuce. So you have kind of your greens there too, and then you can serve that with a side salad. We use some cooked vegetables. I was not feeling well for the few days during this video filming, so my family ate it, I did not, but um, it was a delicious meal and my husband said I could keep this in my back pocket, so good to know. All right, Wednesday night, so that was our third meal, is French toast casserole. I'd made this once before with some sourdough bread and so I did the same. Just some leftover sourdough bread that was um, gonna go bad or if you had a bad loaf, you can use this. And it's super easy. I usually let it soak overnight or for like 12 hours, so I didn't have enough time like I said, I wasn't feeling well, so I didn't plan ahead quite as well on that. But French toast to bake, um, you can use any bread that you have as well. So just like six cups of cubed bread. Then I used four eggs, a cup of milk with a little cream as well in there to make it a little heavier. And then you can use any fruit that you have on hand. I had frozen cranberries, which was really good. Added some cinnamon in there, a little salt and you bake that at 350 till it's golden brown on top and serve it with some hot maple syrup or date lady syrup, some whipped cream, and it is a hit. And you could serve it with the side of an egg. We used some of the sausage links that we had gotten from Costco. So really, French toast bake can be your breakfast or it could be your supper. Very simple, very hearty, and delicious. All right, just a simple chuck roast is meal number four with some carrots and potatoes on the side and onions. So I still have a few onions from my garden that I'm using up. I use mainly the Ree Drummond's Pioneer Woman um, chuck roast recipe for a good roast. 
I didn't do the entire uh, like uh, frying it on the pan first and then deglazing of the pan so I just put it in the oven at 275 for about three hours because it was a small chuck roast so depending on your pound of your roast you'll have to change the length of baking time in the oven but just put some salt and pepper on it some garlic powder and some fresh sprigs of rosemary and it was just a super simple delicious meal that I didn't have to worry about too much all right then we always have pizza on our fifth night so sourdough pizza it is and this time I made a couple different ones I used some barbecue sauce and some of that leftover rotisserie chicken some pineapple um, and sauteed red onion that was a delicious one and then even added some goat cheese on there so that was really good to um, change the taste a little bit and then just my normal marinara pepperonis cheese uh, sauteed mushrooms and peppers and then olives on the other one and to serve it with a side salad and sourdough pizza crust is literally just your sourdough starter poured onto your cast iron or your pizza pan or even just a baking sheet it's so easy and you don't have to add anything else to it it's a really simple meal um just takes some time assembling all right and then we do eat leftovers for some of our other days so for some of our other leftovers we had like a white chicken chili in the freezer we had some um, pizza spaghetti mac uh, spaghetti squash is actually what i had used for that so we do eat leftovers i just definitely want to point that out and then for lunches we often eat the leftovers from the meal prior and then um, we did make a new recipe here for the last one day seven is a deer stew now you could use beef i didn't i just used the last of our deer and it was a butterfly chop so i just sauteed some carrots garlic onion first and then i took that out and then sauteed up the meat or cooked up the meat and then cut that into pieces threw that all back into my dutch oven and then put in some chicken stock that I had canned myself um, or made up myself. You can use store bought if you need with some uh, cornstarch in it to have it taken a little bit. And then I let that to go to boil and then simmer for about 40 minutes. And then I cooked up some quinoa. Now you could use potatoes. Um, this was more of a quinoa beef stew, I guess, instead. And then I added just some seasoning, some salt, some pepper. And then I added a can of green beans, and so you could use a can of peas, you could eat green beans, you could add celery, you know, it's unlimited with what you have on hand. So just serve that up with some meat and cheese, uh, not meat, with some crackers and cheese and had the stew. So really pretty simple meals for our seven days there. and. I um, hope you got some inspiration for some cooking. There's still kind of more in the winter meal ideas here, but it's still winter here in South Dakota. And so we're still working on the stews and the soups because you can never go wrong with those. But I hope you enjoyed this video and that you can make some of these meals as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will talk with you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.